Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, we're gonna take a close look at NetAtmo's home coach and their smart weather station. And these are very similar devices. They both track certain variables in the environment they're placed in. So for instance, the home coach tracks quite a few different things. So you have humidity levels, CO2 levels, sound levels, and a few other data sets that it's tracking, and it gives you a healthy home index which is basically an indication of how good the environment is where you place it. So I can see this being used a lot in your home office. And a lot of us have had to set up home offices in the past few months. And this can be a great addition to a home office setup because it helps you track and analyze changes to that environment. So what I wanna do is create a flow that tracks the CO2 level. And if this passes a certain threshold value, I wanna be alerted to, let's say, a dangerous CO2 level. And I wanna do that using my Sono speaker and my IKEA light that I have here. I'm gonna have those play an audio sound and perhaps flash the lights, just to give me an alert that my office environment is not as safe as I might think it is. Now, let's jump straight into connecting up these devices with Homey, and I'll have a quick explore of what variables both of these devices are looking at. So I'm here in the Homey app, and I'm gonna to head to my devices and hit the plus in the top right. Let's type in the brand name and select the device we're looking to pair. So let's add the home coach. Now these devices, they connect first of all to your Wi-Fi using NetAtmo's apps. And once that's all set up, you use the same account that you have with NetAtmo to share the information to Homey. So I've already logged in once with my NetAtmo account. All I need to do is authorize the connection and once that's done, you can select the device you're looking to pair and hit next. And this will then add it to your devices screen. Now let's quickly add the weather station. It's exactly the same process. Now that I've got both these devices connected to Homey, let's have a quick look and explore the variables that they're tracking. So let's head into the home coach here. And you'll see that it's tracking the temperature, CO2 levels in parts per million, the humidity level, the noise level and the pressure. And then it offers me a healthy home index, which is at the moment fine. And obviously if I swipe to the right, as many of you'll know, you can create a flow using this device. Now, before I do that, let's quickly have a look at the weather station. So I'm gonna jump over to the weather station hub and we'll have a look at what this device is tracking. So you'll see it has a lot of the same sort of data points. It also has temperature, CO2, humidity, noise level, and pressure. Now, I'm not sure if I'm correct in this, but that's because I think both of these devices are almost identical. I think they're pretty much the same device in a different skin and with a little bit of a different app to go with it. So NetAtmo has a weather app that lets you track the weather and has a look at your history. You can add certain other modules to it, like this smart outdoor module. And you can track obviously the weather and the inside of your house using the weather station here. And we have the healthy home coach. This is designed more to be placed in a room or home environment. So for instance, you'll put it in your home office or in your living room and you can track really what's going on there and you get access to that healthy home index to let you know if things are going well or not so well. And it'll send you alerts and notifications based off of the information it has. So let's head over to flows. And I'm gonna hit the plus in the top right to create my very own flow. Now, for the when card, I'm gonna head down to NetAtmo and select the NetAtmo home coach. Now here you'll get a list of different flow triggers that you can use for the home coach. So let's have a quick look through these. You have the temperature becomes greater than a certain threshold value or less than something. You can have the temperatures changed or again, greater than and less than and et cetera for each of the data points this device is measuring for. Now, in this case, I wanna use the CO2 level as my indicator for this flow. So I'm gonna select CO2 becomes greater than. And CO2 is measured by the home coach in parts per million. And I know that 2000 parts per million is sort of, let's say the dangerous threshold for CO2 levels in a certain room. And that's the time when you might wanna open a window or go outside for a quick walk to get some fresh air. 
So I'm gonna set this as my threshold value. So I'll type in 2000. Now I have a when card that triggers this flow when the CO2 level becomes greater than 2000 parts per million. So let's head down to the then card. And here I'll add the actions I wanna happen. So what I'll do is head down to Sonos and select the Sonos one. And here you can select the play a sound option. Now playing a sound actually has a whole bunch of pre-installed sound effects that you can use. Now, this is a relatively new feature, and I did a video on Sonos previously, which I'll have a link to in the description down below. And here I talk about the Soundboard app. So that Soundboard app is where you can install custom MP3 sounds, and these are actually pre-installed sounds that you can start making use of. So for this, I wanna use the Alarm 1. And I'm gonna set the volume of my Sonos speaker to about 50% for that alarm. And I'll hit the check mark. Now let's also let the lights flash when that CO2 level obviously passes that threshold value. So I'll add another card. I'll head to my home film studio, select my studio desk lamp, and I'm gonna have this blink. So to make a light blink, you can do it very simply by saying turn off, or better yet, use the toggle on or off function. I'll add that. So if the light's off, it will turn on. And if it's on, it will turn off. Then I can add a similar card again, but this time with a slight delay. Now I've added a few more of those cards to toggle the light on and off. And I've added these with an intermittent delay. So every four seconds, the light is toggled on and off to have a sort of blinking effect. Now, I've added an even number of these cards to make sure that the light is back in its original state after this flow has been carried out. Since currently I do not have elevated CO2 levels, what we can do is just simply test the flow to make sure that this works. So I'm gonna hit the test button. Now you'll hear the alarm and you'll see the light also flash. Okay, now with all the drama over, I now know that that CO2 level has been bypassed. So the CO2 level in the room is greater than 2000 parts per million. And that alerts me to that fact. And now I can leave the room safely and go for a quick walk to get some fresh air and open the window in the room. Now let's not forget about the weather station here. I've got another flow idea for that. And what I wanna do is actually track the outside weather to let me know if the temperature outside is above 18 degrees or below 18 degrees. And I'm gonna do that by changing the color of this light dependent on the temperature outside. So I'm gonna show you how I can set up a flow for this. Now let's create a new flow. And I'm gonna head down to the NetAtmo app and select the weather station outdoor module since I wanna be tracking the outdoor temperature. And here you can make use of similar flow cards to what we use for home coach. But in this case, I'm just gonna use the temperature has changed. You'll see that a tag is created called temperature. And this is actually that information, let's say package, that is then shared between the weather station and homey to then be used later on in this flow. So I'll hit save. And now using logic, I can create a condition that tests where that temperature level is at. So let's head in to and and add a card. I'm gonna add a logic based card. Let's select the is greater than card. And here, if you tap on the tag up there, you can actually input that temperature. So I'll see in my list of tags, the temperature up here. And that's my local tag, so it was created in the when card. And I'll select that. Now what this card is actually doing is it's looking at is the temperature greater than a certain value. Now let's add in that 18 degrees here in the value field. What will happen is this flow is triggered every time the temperature changes. Then logic says, okay, is the temperature greater than 18 degrees? And if that's the case, 
then I'll have something happen. I've added two cards for the then field. One is to set the color of the light to red, and the other is to set it to blue. Now obviously I want it to set to red when that temperature is above 18 degrees to notify me of warm temperature outside. And I want to set it to blue when the temperature is below 18. Now you might be thinking, how do you do that? Well, this is where a secret little function comes in that's hidden away, and it's called else. And you can add else by holding on a card and dragging it down in the then field. And what'll happen now, if I run through this flow, let's have a look at how it's set up. So I have the flow being triggered when the temperature changes. So every time that the outdoor module senses a temperature change, this flow is triggered. I have an AND condition that checks if that temperature value is above or greater than 18 degrees. And if that is so, then it will set the color of the studio desk lamp here to red. Else, it will set it to blue. So basically, if the temperature is below 18 degrees at that time, the light will turn blue. So let's test out the flow. Now I'm pretty sure it's above 18 degrees in this room. So if I hit test now and select start test, you'll see that the light changes to red. Now what I can do is test this with a different tag value. So I hit test again and up here you can actually change the value of the temperature tag. So you can manually input a temperature value. Now I'm gonna use 15 degrees to simulate a temperature of 15 degrees outside. Now, if I had start test, you'll see that the light changes to blue. So this notifies me that the temperature is cold outside. And for instance, I can't wear shorts. So this is a great way of getting a visual indication of what the temperature is like outside. And obviously this doesn't really work in the studio environment, but if you have a dedicated lamp to measure this at home, you can build certain intervals and have different colors basically represent different temperatures for the outside of your home. And that allows you to know really quickly, hey, can I wear a t-shirt today? Or put on a pair of shorts? Because the temperature is shown to you visually by the color temperature of your light, perhaps. Now, these are just some of the interesting flows that you can create using, for instance, the NetAmo weather station with the smart outdoor module, or the home coach if you're trying to track your indoor uh, environmental status and how healthy your home is. Now, I hope that I've been able to give you a little bit of inspiration for these two devices if you're looking to add them to your home. Now, if you're interested in seeing more about NetAtmos devices, I have another video on their smart video doorbell and their welcome camera. And that's a bit more of a security oriented video, but it might be interesting to check that out. And I'll put the link in the description down below.